Do you want to learn how to make your own sauerkraut for pennies on the dollar? Fermented foods are natural probiotics, and these are so good for your overall health. So let's dive right into this shit, guys. We're going to start with a normal green cabbage. You're going to remove the exterior tough leaves, rinse them, and set them aside for later. And now we're going to chop the cabbage up. I'm going to do my best here. I yeah, And that was a pretty good scene change, I guess. So now we're going to hop into some math. I have 1,250 grams of green cabbage here. I am going to multiply that by 0 0.025, which is 2.5% expressed as a decimal, to give me 31.25 grams of total salt needed in order to uh, preserve this cabbage properly so nobody gets sick. We're going to add 31.25 grams of salt on this, and then we're going to massage it in there. Massage it in there. And then we're going to take a thousand grams or so of liquid water and do the same thing. Multiply it by 0 0.025 to get 25 <laughs> grams of salt needed to make sure that this is at the right salinity level. Then we're going to toast our spices, my friends. This is important. Toast your spices for just a few minutes to wake them up. This really releases the flavor. They've been dormant for a long time, sitting on your shelf, whatever. This really helps. Then we're going to add that right back into the uh, sauerkraut. This is caraway, by the way. And these are juniper berries. We're going to add those in too. And those give it a nice florally note and really wake it up and make it a lot less funky. Then we're going to add this to our jar. I highly recommend you use glass, ceramic, something of the sort. Then we're going to give it a good fisting. Yeah, get in there real deep like and fist it, pack it all in there. Then we're going to add the, uh, the water and salt solution that we made earlier until it's just below the level. Add a little bit of the old sauerkraut funk that I had in there to speed up the process. We're going to pack these leaves that we set aside before on top and make sure that we make kind of a barrier to hold everything under the liquid level. This is very important that you don't expose anything to oxygen. Then instead of putting the top on like I'm doing here, you're going to fill it up the rest of the way to the small part of the neck with more salt solution water. And this, my friends, will sit on your countertop for about a month at about 70 degrees, and then you can put it in the fridge and enjoy your homemade sauerkraut.